I'm Pat Gunn, and this is Let's Play Skyrim. So I left off heading north to retrieve the horn of uh, Yurkin Windcaller <clears throat> and getting distracted by a bandit camp. So I have fast traveled back to that bandit camp, and I'm going to continue the hike north uh, to get that horn. So, this is where the bandit camp was, and north I go. There is one of the bandits that I, uh, I visited. Now let's also grab some stuff out of these barrels while we're here. And wine <coughs> is a pretty weight efficient uh, source of income. As you may have noticed in that split second back there, it weighs a tenth of a pound. And, uh, and that particular wine is worth 7 gold, meaning that it has a uh, gold weight efficiency of 70, which is quite good. And one of these should be a path to where I am going. So I think I'm headed to that uh, to that marker that's a little bit west of north, and you can uh, sp uh, spot the difference between markers that are in the same map as you and those that aren't. The ones that are in the same map as you look kind of like uh, that marker up there, a little bit east of uh, south. Oh. I guess we're headed in mostly the same direction anyhow, so I will continue. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's a shrine of some sort of Mara. Okay. I never actually learned what all the different shrines do. They, uh, they generally provide buffs to combat things or to crafting. They only last for a certain amount of time. So theoretically, if you're going to be a lot more fiddly than I am with the game, then you can uh, you can learn them and use them appropriately. Ooh, that is a foe of some kind. But unfortunately, they've already spotted me, so I'm probably wasting... They're pretty tough. Hopefully I have enough restoration to, to take care of this. Unfortunately that was the last of my healing potions, so if I need more, I'm going to be in trouble. Okay, I don't remember stealing anything from Astrid, but... Oh, sweet. So apparently the mod that I uh, installed earlier that adds that adds items that improve your carrying weight, it also adds them to the random drops that, uh, that enemies can uh, can drop, which is nice because I just picked up a shoulder pad that increases my carrying capacity by 75 pounds. So I will continue north. Maybe I'll try and visit one of these uh, markers. Oh, oh, there's a dragon down there. Okay. Well, let's see if I can get the drop on. Yeah. I'm hoping that I'm not biting up more than I can chew. Let's save the game, just in case. A 
It's a frost dragon. Oh, that's what I was talking about earlier with ducking behind stuff. It'll improve your survivability a lot. Ooh. If you have something to duck behind when a dragon gets too, uh, too close. And is about to breathe. Oh, well. Except it seems like this dragon is doing strafing runs on me. I'm hoping that he'll stop and hover again soon. Another nice thing about dragons is that Oh shoot. I'm not doing this right. I guess on the upside, I'm getting some nice uh, buffs in for my healing skill because I'm getting hit a lot. But... That's not really good enough, so... Dragons... They come in two main varieties, or at least two main breath weapon varieties. Shoot. Where is he? might be impossible for me to do much damage from this vantage. I might need to head down. Nope, he is about to pull back. Okay. But yeah, I'm not doing a lot of damage, so I'm gonna probably head down as soon as I finish healing and see if I can get somewhere where I can uh, do a little bit of more direct fighting with this guy. Oh shoot. Okay. Well, did manage to survive that. But it was not pretty. And it left me low on mana. Well, in any case. Oh, and this is one of the word walls. Eventually you'll get to uh, you'll learn to recognize their distinctive shape. Shoot, I really had hoped to get behind this pillar, but I got caught. So it's also illustrating the importance of getting better healing spells. Because if you're going to rely on... Let's see, so... Because if you're going to rely on healing in battle, you want something that's not going to take forever and that can heal you all the way up to the top um, without draining your mana too much. And obviously I don't have anything that's quite suitable yet. But I do have a better hiding spot now. Still not doing a lot of damage to the dragon, which is kind of unfortunate. And the dragon landed somewhere. Shoot, where is... Oh, dragon is behind me. Yeah, that's not a great place to hide, right beneath the dragon. Okay, this is definitely not a show of competence here. Do I have any potions of frost resistance? No, I don't. Later on in the game, it can be very helpful to have potions that will help you resist uh, the breath weapons of whatever uh, dragon you're fighting. Oh, two potions of healing. That will be helpful. Apparently he did not use them enough, and he left them for me. Very kind of him. Oh, also a shield. Cool. I do not have time to... Okay. 
I am going to take a risk here, but I'm going to save first. I'm going to run up and... and do some slashing at the dragon. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, that works, but it uh, when the dragon bit me, it took off a good chunk of health. Things get a little bit easier later in the game, but uh, at least for now, ooh, dragons are a major nuisance. Oh, and he's gonna run off before I get a chance to really. But another nice part of the way that this game is architected is that long battles... Okay. Long battles tend to be really pretty good for, uh, for building your combat skills, and you often level up in the middle of them. Of course, they're also pretty dangerous, but let's see. He will probably come back down. Not anywhere useful. Okay, so we're gonna hide from his breath weapon and hope that he'll land somewhere a little bit more suitable. And, uh. Okay. Oh, no. Dude. We'll heal up while we wait for him to land somewhere better for us. Okay, where is he? He is up there. No, that is not a helpful place for us. We want him to land somewhere where we can actually... Where we can actually hit him with our sword. Okay, is he gonna land? Yes. So we've entered him uh, under half health, so that means he is probably gonna uh, land for good soon. And this is our chance to actually kill him. Uh, where is he? Uh, he landed on the hill beneath. Oh, he seems to have glitched a little bit. Okay, more than a little bit. He's pretty glitched. We're gonna head over here and visit the word wall because if we're gonna have to chase him down, we, we don't wanna have the trouble of making it back up here. So yeah, you learn word walls just by staring at the word for a little bit. Or you learn shouts, rather. He is somewhere down there. So let's get our shield back on, and there's nothing else to take care of up here. Oh, he's actually coming all the way up to meet us. Oh, that was helpful. Come on. We are not doing a lot of damage, but we're getting them. Whoa. Okay, that is kind of ridiculous. And unfortunately... We are taking some pretty serious damage here. We're going to duck behind this hill and heal up for our final go. Or at least what I hope will be our final go. Sword, shield, looking good. Oh, come on. Oh, shoot. Okay, this is kind of ridiculous. Maybe... Oh, well, shoot. 
Definitely embarrassing. I am going to charitably blame that on on glitching relating to the hill. But yeah, I will sometimes die in the game. I'm this isn't a uh, So it's not the, the type where I'm going to studiously avoid any death. I'm not that embarrassed about it. Also, I should note that later on in the game, if an NPC ends up being killed by a random dragon attack, and I think that they're an important NPC, I will use the console to bring him back. Come on, dude. Land. I guess I can send him s some arrows. No, maybe not. Okay. Sweet. Let's see if I have a little bit more luck this time. Okay. That's some good damage. And I recovered enough mana. So yeah, your mana and health regenerate uh, regenerate much more slowly when you're um, when you're in combat, but they still do regenerate. Ah, uh, shoot. That is not a place I really want to run. And fortunately, I'll need to do a lot less of this saving and restoring later on in the game. Where is he? Oh. Okay. kind of hard to see where you're shooting in situations like that. Okay. All healed up. And where is he? And I guess I've again injured him enough. Unfortunately, we won't be getting near enough the cliff that... Sweet. Okay, got him this time. We did not let him get near enough the cliff that he was going to slide down and make things all awkward again. And might as well heal up while we're doing this for a little bit more free leveling of our healing skill. And we absorbed his soul. I don't think we have any shouts that we need to power. Yeah, both of those are at full strength for as many words as we have of them. Each shout has three words, and for most of the shouts, um, for most of the shouts, uh, you have to um, spend one dragon soul to learn each of them. So this is a nice overlook. Um, you would have to be kind of nuts to actually try to jump down from there. Anyhow, let's save up, and where are we going again? 
we are going a little bit more uh, further northwest. Although we're going to save here, this seems like a good breaking point. We still have not reached our destination, which is probably up there somewhere. But it's as good a point as any.